Hello, a quick add-on uh, with the information from Norbert uh, suggesting that we could update the parameter for the Lissajou. Again, it's the same kind of display limited on the Rigel, but uh, uh, there is some parameter that we can actually change into the, uh, the scope. So as I've shown previously, the only thing that we can do is remove the crosshair but there is this strange mode so you click on the uh, display and then you look on the about and I don't know, understand why but click three time on it and then it switch to a uh, debug mode get back out of this we get into the display and now the feature are available so okay that's fun you have to activate the advanced trigger and now we could play with something we'll put it over here so as we start we need to change a little bit the parameter so we have intensity let's try it to move over here so persistence persistent in frame uh, wave width and wave intensity so the equivalent of having nothing is something like uh, intensity maximum and persistence in frame Probably something like that. Persistence time. So if we do on off, try to replicate the uh, same setting. Off, on, I'm too intense. So if I turn this thing off, it's almost the same thing. But there are some strange feature. Uh, and let let me explain if I turn this thing on uh, I will reduce the intensity of it and look while I increase the intensity it goes higher and then it disappear if I pass beyond something like 70% which is which seems to be the maximum so now I could turn down this parameter Turn down this parameter and make it as small as possible. And now if we compare, we are brighter, even though I have not used all the all the possible uh, feature. And what I mean by feature, I will try to hold the phone. So in the uh, in the generator, I will just change the uh, the phase between one and the other. Uh, so we could see, this is the kind of thing you want to look at when you're doing a quadrature signal. Uh, I usually do this with a laser uh, mounted in quadrature to try to measure the position. Uh, but it's a, it's a nightmare to do. And uh, one thing very important is to have 90 degree phase between the two signal and you don't want to have any error or, or you don't want to go at the strange position and uh, automatically I would say the field tech when I play with the parameter is at a tendency to to do those kind of things so look at the uh, pulse sometime that will appear here the line on the bottom but uh, what you want to do and uh, at the job we have a high cost uh, tectronic scope that could do those kind of thing i will increase the person stance time to 100 and uh, we'll move a little bit the figure on the left so we could see it like that, and now I play with the phase. So we see the trace of where it goes over time. Well, it's it's not perfect, and 
if I increase a little bit the intensity, it will sort of paint its place where it goes. So 92, 106, let's go back to 89. Sometimes we see the thing appearing. Let's go back to 90 degree phase. Well, where is the trace in that? You could reset this thing by doing off, on, you get back to this thing, but now let's try 98%. 98%. Let's try again fuzzing the phase. It's sort of appearing and disappear. So it's almost the effect that we want. Let's go back to 90, but now let's try 99. Try to move with my 99. Look what it will do. So I change the phase. It paints itself to a certain point and Sometimes I do not reach 99. I'll try again. I'm at 98. I need to be 99. Not 100, not 98, but 99. So everywhere it goes, sort of keep track. But if I let go, it will stabilize like a paint that is drying and, and it capture it always capture the place where there is an error i will try to make one yes in the, in the top you see the one but if i let go the trace stabilize where it where it is so it's a very interesting way equivalent to having the uh, the very complex history mechanism of the uh, tectonic that we have, the very high end tectonic. So if you have one trace that goes into the center, it's a Finch count error. So you don't want to have that. But if you try this 89, 90 degree phase all the time, just put the intensity at 99 and it will do that thing. To erase, you just turn off, turn on, could increase a little bit the intensity, and again, 99, let's play again with the phase, so right now it's quite useful, here's an error, here's another error, here's another error, but the error remains there. And see where is the trace over time. So it stabilized where where the paint is drying, it's get darker, but where it is right now, you could still follow it and you got the permanent history on the paint on the bottom. If you do that with again 98, you don't have this feeling. See sometimes a trace, but the trace disappear. So it's not the same mechanism. So it's a strange behavior. I don't know why they call this test, but uh, that's a funny thing.